ABC's Andrew Wirth spoke with one local truck owner who says the closure of the commissary hurt their business and identity far more than anything else. Andrew. Yes, Jackie, if you've been driving by here on Rosedale, just pack, just near Gibson, you've noticed that the Pal Norte food truck has been missing from this exact spot that we're standing now. And that's not because they did anything wrong, but that's because of the, uh, the commissary where they used to park at night and set everything up for their day failed an inspection late last week and now they're forced to stay closed. Luckily, they'll be reopening tomorrow. On Friday morning, word of the catering stop closing down didn't spread fast enough. The catering stop is one of Bakersfield's largest commissaries for food trucks, a place trucks legally need for prepping and selling food. It was a uh, inconvenient like, oh, OK, so where am I going to work? A question Lorenzo Martinez, the owner of Pal Norte Mexican Cuisine, didn't have an answer for until today. It feels like a grand slam. It feels like, oh man, finally I'm going back to work. Martinez says he can't be mad at the health department though because they're just doing their job. He says having the commissary out of code makes them all look bad, especially for a place where many owners, including him, just store their truck at night. We all have to follow the rules. You know, the hot dog guys, the lotero guy, you know, the food trucks, everybody has to follow the rules. Pal Norte has been closed since Friday and was one of more than 100 trucks to be displaced. All owners have been forced to remain closed until Kern County Public Health can help them find a new commissary. The search, though, not an easy task. I'm not going to risk myself for, you know, making a profit and then I'm going to get suspended worse or I'm going to get a ticket or something like that. So I I'm not going to risk. I got too much to lose. Martinez says these last few days for him have gone just like that. Today, though, he was lucky enough to find a place in Arvin, realizing the significance a simple place like this can have. I hope they, they can open again. You know, because there's a lot of people not working uh, at this time and they, are, they need the income. We all got bills, you know, we got, we got to pay rent. And for the future of the catering stop, it's right now unknown. And I spoke with the owners earlier today, or some of the workers, I should say, earlier today. They said they have a meeting with the health department next week. But tomorrow, luckily, Curbside Kitchen and Pal Norte will be open in their normal spots. Pal Norte right back here on Rosedale near Gibson. Live tonight in Northwest Bakersfield, Andrew Worth, 23 ABC.